Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monster Hunter World. I've gotten a lot of questions about augmentation and specifically about the health region augmentation that you can put on all of your weapons. A lot of people are asking if it's worth it and I finally unlocked it on a few different weapons and I think it is time to go over just how good this is. Or is it good? We'll find out. Now, for those of you that don't know, you unlock augmentation after you defeat the hunter rank level 49 tempered Kirin. And after you get your first streamstone after defeating Kirin, you will unlock augmenting at the armory. So when we go in here, we have already got our Hazak Demios 2 upgraded with health region. And you'll see here that when you click over it, it says regain health as you land attacks. Stack with other upgrades to increase the amount of health regained. Now that is very, very important. There are some things that stack with this and some things don't. I'm going to go over all the things that do stack with it. But first, let's go ahead and go into just exactly how this works. Then we'll go into the ways that you can improve it and really make this OP. All right. So right now we are just using one level of health regen on our Hazak Demios 2. And I'll show you just how much health we recover per hit. Now there's a couple things to notice when we're going through this and I'll point them out as we go. Now, uh, the 76 damage hit, you'll see that we're getting quite a bit of a health increase, which isn't too bad. But you'll also notice that if we can get a crit in here, that we will recover more health on based on the amount of damage that we do. So a lot of people have speculated this and I've done quite a bit of testing and it does seem to be tied to damage. So each weapon is obviously going to be different. So when you're using the dual blades, you'll be doing less damage per hit. But when you do a lot of crits, so if you're running a crit build tied in with health region, then you're going to be able to recover quite a bit of health depending on how much damage you're doing per hit. So. Just keep that in mind, and it is quite good. As I mentioned before, it is a little bit different with each weapon, but at the end of the day, it really is tied to the amount of damage you're doing per hit. So I do have just one health region slot on this long sword that we're using, and we'll see here that we do quite a bit of damage as well, but it's less than the uh, Hazak Demio, so you'll see that our health region is a little bit less. Uh, but we're going to actually go ahead and get our spirit gauge, spirit gauge full, and you'll see that as we do increase damage, our health regen will be significantly higher. All right, so unfortunately, I was not able to keep the full spirit gauge because uh, it takes too long to actually hurt yourself in here. Uh, but you'll see that we'll do more damage now, and our health gauge will recover faster. Now, also, all of your abilities will gain with this, so if we use this... And you'll see that we'll actually recover health with each hit of that. So it's pretty cool. And you really want to do your most damaging attacks when you want to recover health. And you'll see that we can recover health very, very quickly doing that. All right, now let's get into the things that can improve this skill quite a bit. So we'll go into our equipment info here and you'll see that we've got level three recovery up. Now recovery up will stack with the uh, health boost augment. So it's really, really amazing. We got uh, basically 30% increased health regen when we've got the health region slot augmented. So it's very cool. There's things that this will stack with um, as well. So I'll get into that in just a second, but we'll just show you how much more we're getting per health, uh, basically per tick as we go. Helps if you go into the sword. So it's the exact same comparison. Now we're doing the same amount of damage, but you'll see that each tick is a little bit higher, 30% higher. It's not going to be exactly noticeable, but it will be when you start doing a lot of damage and you can heal very, very quickly. Now, each tick of every hit you do will go towards the health region. So even your ability like this with the switch axe will recover health with each hit and especially a ton of health with the explosion at the end, especially if it crits. Now this is where things start getting interesting. When you start stacking these skills together, you can start regening a ton of health. It is absolutely insane. Now we are hovering over the Valhazak male. Now recovery speed will not stack with medicine and the health region augment. Obviously it will improve the amount of time or basically the speed at which you can recover the red portion of your health bar. So it does help with that. But as far as complementing the other things, it can just because you you recover your you know your red bar a little bit faster but it doesn't actually stack but what does stack is the Val Hazak vitality 
So it allows recovery to exceed the red portion of the health gauge. Now, a lot of people think that recovery speed and the Valhazak vitality actually stack or complement each other. I've done a bunch of research and apparently it doesn't, although it seems a little, a little strange that it doesn't. I don't know. But anyways, the Valhazak vitality will stack with the medicine and the uh, the health region. So it's very, very good to complement both of those. Now, also what will work is the Nergagante Hunger. So what I've done here is I've got this set that I'm working on here. And basically what we've got here is we've got... Um, we don't have Nergagante Hunger. Hunger. What? Oh, God. Yeah, we do. Okay. So we've got Nergagante Hunger. We've got the health region. We've got recovery up level two. It would be level three if I had the gem, but let's go ahead and test this out. Now, what I like about the Nergagante hunger stacking with this versus the Valhazak is that you're not sacrificing any damage and you're really getting an increased damage from the set because you've got agitator level three here, which gives you increased affinity and increased attack when the monster is uh, enraged, which is very good because that's the time that you're going to need health region most likely anyways so now when he's agitated you're also doing more damage and you're also able to recover your health faster because of the increased damage so let's see just how much more health we're regening with each hit like this let's go to the sword like we're supposed to and we'll go ahead and do that now we're doing 88 damage which is pretty good now you can also put like a flawless gem on here but it's not really going to help with the the um the health regen but it will help when you have your full health and you'll see that we're just <laughs> we regen almost that full last tick in one hit it's just crazy especially once you start stacking these just how much health you can regen now if you stack a second health region on here it's going to be even better now after messing around with the health region augmentation i do think it is probably one of the best augmentations to put on a weapon obviously a lot of these weapons will require for certain builds uh, an infinity increase some people will go for the slot upgrade i think the slot upgrade isn't very great because it's usually only a one slot gem slot which for some builds will actually be very good but health region if you've got a couple extra slots like on the rarity 7 or rarity 6 i would highly recommend putting at least one health region in there and then obviously whatever else you need but health region is amazing I, i've been messing around with it a lot and especially when you stack it with other skills it can get really really op so i do have a couple clips of me using this against monsters just in case you guys are curious what it'll be like in the actual field so i'm gonna go ahead and play those clips now so feel free to check that out and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it through there as well all right so here i'm just trying to land some basic attacks so that you guys can see how much health regen you get per hit i'm trying to hit different points on it so you can see that the lower the damage the less health you'll regen and when you get good crits on a vulnerable spot you'll regen quite a bit more health now this is using the medicine level three so you are getting an increased health regen with each hit as well um now you'll see here that when we actually use the combo that will regen health relatively quickly and it's really nice, especially when you've got the Medicine 3 stacks. Now, what's really nice about this build is instead of having to waste time actually having to pop a potion, you can be more aggressive and regen all of your health by just attacking, especially if you know the monster's movements and you may have just gotten hit accidentally. You can really just focus on dishing out as much damage as you can and regen all of your health that way, which is very, very nice. And even just messing around with different sharpnesses here, as you can see, I've got green sharpness instead of white, so I'm doing less damage. I'm really just messing around with, uh, you know, different hits to see what regens the most. And you'll see that even just screwing around, we have regened all of our health really quickly. And it's just an amazing combination to use, especially once I finish off this set using the Nergagante Hunger, the Medicine, and the Health Region. You can make some really OP builds. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. That is all I've got. If anyone has any questions about health region, definitely feel free to ask in the comments below. And any additional information that I acquire, I will pin to the very top of the comments. So definitely make sure to double check that for more information as we go and possibly some posts on some really good builds to use with health region. And I will be planning on making a really, really good 
offensive slash defensive set. It's basically an aggressive health regen set with some defensive capabilities in it that'll be usable for pretty much any weapon. So keep an eye out for that on the channel. I'll hopefully have that out within the next day or so. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to share your support and smash that like button. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.